Yes, hello. Thank you for coming. My name is Harald Falkenberg, and uh, I'm happy to be a friend of Helga. Uh, Helga de Alvia uh, made a big project together with me, uh, and it, uh, it was the first time that your uh, fantastic collection was shown on a great scale uh, in the public. So that was an honor for me, and we can talk about later if necessary. Mm -hmm. But I think the greatest event of the year is the opening of your museum and, uh, in Spain. And uh, we have Mr. Mancilla here, and he's the architect of this museum. Mm -hmm. And so I think you should start uh, to talk about this big thing, this great event this year. It was just two or three weeks ago, yes? Last week. Last week. Last week. Wait, the 3rd of June. 3rd of June. Yes, Helga, I give you the word. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming. I trust, I'm very happy to, uh, that I can explain here that we are doing a, a culture center in the south of Spain, near the Portuguese frontier, in, in a small town. The name is Cáceres and the province is uh, um, Extremadura. It's one of the most fantastic spaces in Spain. Because I always say it's like El Pulmón. <laughs> it's Pulmón in English. <laughs> That's it. It's a <laughs> the, the lung. It's the lung of Europe because it's full of trees and and full of wonderful uh, cerdos, pigs. <laughs> and it's a wonderful, no, it is really a wonderful place. And it is, it's there that the Romans are in Merida, they are the, in, in Cáceres, is also in a, a middle-aged town. And it's, I mean, I, ha I was so lucky that they thought it was the place to make there the, an art foundation. And it will not be a museum. I don't want to have a museum. I give them all my collection, and they will give me the buildings. So we can show it, and it will be a wonderful for everybody. There's not so much to see. We just opened it the 3rd of June. And uh, there's an, an exhibition. It, well, the architects are one of the best architects in Spain. They already have the Mies. Mies van der Rohe, Price. Mies van der Rohe Price. And they are very good friends, and they, they made the restoration of this building from 1910. And then afterwards, they will make a new building about 7,000 square meters. So that will be a very big foundation. But all that is becoming new things. But I'm very happy that it started with this first exhibition. And last year, or two years ago, Harald and I, we made together an exhibition in Hamburg, and now I, I, you will speak a little, about, a little bit about that. I mean, I showed the, I showed the collection also in, in Badajoz, in Extremadura. I showed it in Lisbon and in Portugal, but then I came to you, yeah. made something together. That's uh, uh, your, uh, perhaps we have to speak a little bit about the collection. Uh, this is a mixture of German art and uh, American art. Uh, some German artists are Gregor Schneider and uh, you can perhaps tell some more. Uh, if you have Gordon Matta Clark as a American and Baldessari. And, uh, uh, and then you have a, a quite a lot of Spanish artists. Yes. So that are the three roots, I would say. And uh, there's a book. Uh, is it for selling today? I don't know. We, But you can yeah. have a look at it. Perhaps we pass some around. That would, would be nice. Larissa, can you feel like to pass some books around so that people can see it? And uh, my question to your collection, uh, is it continuously opened? Yes, now it will be continuously opened and the first exhibition that started on yeah. 3rd of June will be the same exhibition until the 10th of January. Yeah. 
yeah. and then we are thinking about the next one. So you make one exhibition a year? No, e even maybe six months and things like that. So two or three yeah. a year? No, 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 that afterwards. When <laughs> there be, today we still don't have a, and, the organization. And will you show only your own collection? Or perhaps invite someone? My idea is that, that it will be things going around. I did that from the gallery now. When somebody wants to make an exhibition about Mata Clark, then I give them the 15 works I have from Mata Clark. Yes. So I still will always work with everybody, but in Cáceres will be the home, and that will be an open center for culture. Yeah. But it also other um, exhibitions, not from your collection, could come to Calgary? But always it has to be a relationship to the, to the collection. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think we, I should not make an exhibition of, of somebody I don't, I have no relation. There has to be something it has to do with. Uh, the collection is from the, from the 50s until now, and it's going further. <laughs> so, and there's a lot of photography, yeah. really, because I, there was a moment that I found that the photography was much cheaper than anything else. And that's why I started with the first photos in the <laughs> end of the 80s. And now I have a big photo collection. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Casillas, what were your uh, main ideas of this uh, museum? Could you perhaps? Yes. No, I think that, that we were actually uh, very lucky when we met uh, Helga de Alvear mm. uh, because the. the the spirit of this collection, of this, this house of, of art, the visual for, for arts, for the Center for Visual Arts, it was, uh, the, it was with this idea of trying to put in, uh, people closer to, closer to the art. Yeah. And then uh, nowadays, I think it's impossible to think that uh, to make a building for a nice collection, as is uh, the Hellas ones, it's also to make part of the city. That was the, the important. So in this, uh, uh, there will be two steps. First step, is, which is already done, is the, the refurbishment of this uh, ancient house, which the collection is already in display. And there will be a second part in which the exhibition halls, it will be enlarged. The, the, the building is, is, in the, is uh, exactly in the border between the ancient town and the, and the new town. And it comes down in a kind of, of hill, which is the ancient part of it. But it was very divided from at this, mob, at this point. So there was no transition into the, uh, let's say the ancient part and the new part of the city. So the idea, it was to extend like a kind of uh, a street, a public street, which will go inside the new center for yes. visual art. So let's say people just walking in the city at a certain moment, it will be without knowing it at the very beginning inside the museum in a double stir, just uh, mix with the people which is actually visiting the, the, the center. So this idea of, of uh, someone that is just in, in by case entering the museum, it was something very important for, for us. So there will be like two spirals, one interior and one exterior, that will communicate the two parts of the city. So it will, I think that from the point of view of urbanists, it will be very interesting and very close to the ideas that Helga proposed us. How, how big is that town? The, the, it will be like 6,000 uh, square meters. How big is the, the town? town? Ah, the town. How many inhabitants? How many inhabitants? Uh, I think something like... 60,000? 60, 60, no, more or less. Uh, a little bit more, maybe. 60,000, uh, 70,000. Do you 60, intend to make also some education there or for the people, for the local people or children or so? Oh, or that, not that will come. Now, we, in, it, it, by, in this moment, we are only making uh, yeah. exhibitions. It's not big enough. Hmm. Now we only have 3,500 square meters, yeah. and that's four pieces. Yeah. So it really is a house. You know. So we have to make an exhibition all over. Yeah. So the idea and the first exhibition is margins of silence, 
It's a wonderful exhibition. You have to come and see it. Yeah, I see it there. This is a look into it. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, the idea now the collection is this ancient house. But yeah. after the collection, the, the exhibition, it will move to the new one. Yeah. And then there is a house that will be with these uh, things for education, uh, library, etc. So it is uh, for holidays to go there, yes? Well, actually, it's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Landscape is wonderful and the city itself, so, no? So, no. Helga, it's uh, better not to come only for one or two days, yes? Uh, look around there, yes? And then in three months, yeah. we will also will have a wonderful hotel, Relais yeah. Chateau, ah. in the old town, only for 14, 15 special, very special people who will go to see the exhibitions and have the, the wonderful hotel from my friends from the Atrio, yeah. the restaurant Atri is one of the best from Spain, so yeah. you can imagine. It, Caceres is going up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, when we made this exhibition in Hamburg, it was a very good cooperation with you. And uh, uh, hello, Mr. Felix. He was a curator. Uh, so that uh, static. You both uh, both uh, collections, and I think it was the third time, oh, third time, uh, that he arranges uh, the meetings between two collectors. Uh, in this case, it was from Spain for the first time, but you have German roots, yes, <laughs> and still uh, many people from your family come from Germany, and and. Uh, when I first came to Spain, I could go into your de depot and uh, everything was in perfect order, <laughs> uh, but uh, the works were still in boxes. Yes? So one could see only the names yes? of Ibi Knöbel and so on and so on. And, uh, and so you had a lot of imagination. Uh, it was nice to see a collection in boxes. <laughs> 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 and naturally it was They're very much safe. Too complicated. Everything's very safe. <laughs> much too complicated to open those boxes. <laughs> yeah. Naturally. Yeah. And uh, then uh, in Hamburg you revealed it. And uh, perhaps you can really pass uh, Larissa, pass the books around. They're all they're already, already, they're already going, going around, I think. Ah. Like zwei, drei. That is, this is the other exhibition now from Cáceres. Yeah. There are two books ah, I see. going. Yeah, yeah. At uh, uh, Stenica, Stenic. But you have no micro, otherwise you could tell a little bit about the idea, yes? Uh, no. Can someone pass a micro to Stenic Felix? Yes, yes. Stenic, a micro comes. Perhaps you can tell a little bit about our two collections. It's better a third person does it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hello, hi. And, uh, well, what I should say to the, to the exhibition, it was a fantastic chance to, uh, to be able to choose works from such huge collections from Madrid and from, from Hamburg. Uh, I was occupied with uh, this two exhibitions before at the, at the uh, collection Falkenberg. The first one, we, uh, we combined the three, uh, two, uh, two Hamburg uh, collections, uh, collections of photography, uh, Gundlach, and the other one, La Friends. And afterward, the second one of these co confrontations was, was uh, the combination between Falkenberg collection and co collection of uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Goetz from Munich, and now the third one, which I which I done was this one, and uh, I think it was a fantastic chance because the both collections had something something uh, uh, what make the near and something are completely different, and uh, uh, for example. Knöbel, Imi Knöbel is represented in the collection of, of Helga de Alva, very strong, 
and he is not presented in, in the collection Falkenberg. So it was, for example, very interesting to make such, such confrontation. I think, in general, it was a fantastic, fantastic possibility to see not, not only this huge collection of, of uh, Helga de Alvar, but also some works from the collection of Falkenberg, uh, which uh, are more insulative and which are more, uh, more uh, works for space. And uh, so I think at the, at the end, it was a fantastic show. Thank you. This is now, now you can see, this is the opening of the, of the new, of the collection. This is the entrance With the that I make uh, Luis Moreno, Mancilla, and Emilio Tuñón. So you, this is the exhibition we opened last week, Vamos, the 3rd of June. And they had to make the restoration of the house. And I think they did that very, very well. I'm very, very happy. And we put on only, well, my friend That's Jose great. Maria Vinuela, he made the, the project to put on all these wonderful things. And I think they are wonderful because I think I like them very much. <laughs> and the exhibition is that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you want to say something to your building, maybe you want. Oh, well, that, no, that's, uh, it was a, a very interesting uh, work, a challenge in a, in a way, because it was an, an ancient space. So the, the courtyard in the, it's facing the, the street, which, which was something very interesting also for us. I mean, once again, people which is just crossing, crossing by the, the street of the city, it will see the part of this museum with the Ai Weiwei um, sculpture and will invite uh, so and it was like, like a very simple uh, idea of uh, having like a like a nice house for the, for your works <laughs> it's very yeah. very nice. yeah you see that uh, there are um, many collections of gallerists yes and i think there are two kinds Helga uh, some some galleries have a collection of leftovers which they couldn't sell <laughs> and you have uh, uh, take the best pieces for your own collection <laughs> that's so you not your right that's bit. not right that's what everybody thinks and Carlos Rossi is here he worked with me eight years he knows that I'm always waiting until everybody had looked at it ah. if they don't sell if I don't sell it, then I buy. Ah. So it's not that I buy first. That's not right. <laughs> and oh, I buy. I had the idea, yes. <laughs> I know a lot of people think like that. But I'm buying to all, all, only to galleries. I'm not going to studios. Never have done that. And I hope that everybody will hear that here. That everybody should do the same. They are, it's, it's a work to, to be yeah. gallerist, and then you have to... Yeah, it's, it's uh, today so that there are more or more exhibition places of the collectors, yes? And uh, there's, that has certainly something to do that the uh, official museums uh, have changed uh, their, their idea, yes? Uh, today, if you go to Reina Sofia and so, uh, the uh, the exhibitions have a great importance, yes, and the collection is having less and less importance. I heard in Hamburg, uh, the uh, big uh, Kunsthalle, 90% of the visitors go to the exhibitions and only 10% to the, uh, to the ex uh, exposed uh, uh, collection. And uh, that means that, uh, that, uh, uh, that the great museums are not really fond take over greater collections because uh, they don't have the in the future they will not be able to handle them correctly and so I can only say and wish you good luck and Thank hope you. that uh, we will have more exchange from Spain to Germany surely so thank you very much Thank bye you bye. for thank you. you thank you for your attention. thank you for coming